I have decided to make a triangle using C++ and Vulcan. I know, this journey will not be easy. We will face obstacles, there will be heartbreaks, sleepless nights, and yes, someone might even die. But that is a sacrifice that I'm willing to make for you. But I believe that if we believe that we can achieve, maybe. <laughs> Anyways, step one, download the Vulcan SDK. And to make sure that everything works, load the cube example. Boom. But we ain't here for no cube. No, we're here to create a triangle. Let's start over. To get things started in Vulcan, we need some weird stuff like um, layers, families, and cues. Yeah, I, I, I have no clue what they are, but I'm sure the future me will figure this out. Probably. Hopefully. M maybe. But this, this logic device, now that, that makes a lot of sense. From a quick Google search, I got to know that it's basically the virtual connection to the GPU, which is pretty important, I think. Anyways, I messed around with something called swap chains, and it broke my program. Which honestly, you could call an improvement, because before, it did absolutely nothing. Now at least, it sends me cryptic error messages. Kind of like my dating life. Hey, wanna go out? It's 23.30. I literally see no difference between these messages. Like, who asks if you wanna go out after bedtime? It's, it's cold, it's dark, and cold. But anyways, these swap chains, they need image views, which are apparently used for rendering. That is why I read about something called the graphics pipeline. It's like plumbing, but for pixels. And just like real plumbing, I don't know how it works. Then I learned some new words like Gelsel and Spirp. Are they languages, secret codes? Who knows? Anyways, I think I made shaders. You just can't see them yet. But anyhow, apparently the graphics pipeline also need these things called structures. So I made a bunch of them, and boom, nothing. Steal a blank window. Damn. But hey, I learned this. The graphics pipeline is basically a magical pipe that uses these magical words, glossal and spirv, also known as shaders, and some other things. Basically, put a triangle in, and out comes a triangle, but transformed, shaded, and ready to shine on your screen. Then I worked on the command buffer. They're supposed to tell GPU what to do, which is great, because I have no clue what it's supposed to do. But anyways, finally, after many, many, many hours. Boom! A triangle. But this is not just any triangle. No, this is a cool triangle. With colors. Ooh. But there's a problem. The points of this triangle are hard-coded into the shaders, you know, the gl the glossal. <laughs> so let's move these points into the actual code. And in case you didn't notice, this triangle is being drawn super slow. Why? Because the CPU keeps sending its data to the GPU every time. So by saving the data directly on the GPU, you can do the drawing much faster. Yeah, it, it doesn't make much sense for one triangle, but imagine if I had more triangles, this, this would make a lot of sense. Also, to make things even more efficient, you can add an index buffer which will say in which order the vertices will be drawn. So you can avoid storing repetitive coordinates of the vertices. Now this, again, doesn't make much sense with, with one triangle. So let's make another one, and boom, we got a square. Yeah! Then I did some descriptors and pools and sets. It, it's a thing and I'm hella confused. But I got a frame spinning at least, so you know, that's pretty cool. But anyway, having a colorful spinning frame is cool and all. You know what's even cooler? A spinning image of... <laughs> Thanks for watching this episode of IDKWIMIAIDKWIAD. Short for I don't know what I'm doing. I'll attempt to do weekly uploads from now on. Wish me luck, hit the like and sub if you want, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.